All right, can the Midwestern people watching this at least admit now that we're actually getting rained on? Does this actually count as rain to you people? Because this is like a torrential downpour to us. Shake up a martini, pull up a chair, and let's go thrifty. This is Mid-Century Wasted. That's a hole, it's probably full of water, you know. <clears throat> now this a mill up here on the right is where George and, and, and Dad worked. Oh really? Mm -hmm. What kind of mill is it? A gypsum mill. Oh yeah. It made plasterboard and stuff, but I don't know what they, one of the guys that... Your dad worked there too? Yeah. Oh. One of the guys I was talking to, he said, oh they don't make plasterboard even, they make something else. I went, well I don't know. It's probably a different it. company, right? It's a different company? Yeah, it uh, it's Georgia Pacific. Left or right, Grandma? We're gonna go left. I don't want to go into the. Oh yeah. Exactly. <laughs> you want to go start making go some gypsum? gypsum <laughs> Came home from the service. All that, you know, that's the first thing Dad starts saying. You know, you better find a job. Go out the mills or hurry in. And I know George didn't want to go out there. Oh, I did. Because he tried to get a different job. He went to Chicago one time. He was going to do something. He went to Wichita to see about working in that aircraft thing. And well, it's so much, so much sacrifice because it's like he puts his whole life on hold to go serve in the yeah well, service, and then, he, and then he and then he comes back and he's, he's got to develop you know, skills, you know, right or left? I, right. I don't think that people realize that when those kids have been in service like that, they come home a different person. Oh yeah. It takes them a long time to adjust back yeah. into this yeah. life, you know? Yeah. People, I don't think Dad realized that. He just thought George should come home and get a job right away, you know? Yeah. It's really down in there. Holy cow. Yeah, it's pretty low. A lot of sandbars out there. I don't know where he took me. It was over there somewhere, I think. Uh -huh. He took me in some back road. Ooh, level? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We fished on the side of the river over there. Oh, is he looking for then fishing? Yeah, we went fishing. Oh, well, Dar used to throw, take him down here to Dolliver Park and let him out at midnight. He'd float down the river that's, and fish all night. Yeah, that's what, that's what I don't <laughs> Like in the dark. Yeah. Yeah, baby loved it. Did that lots of times. And then Lonnie was telling me the other day, and I didn't know this, but the river was froze over in the wintertime, uh -huh. and level was going through Dolliver Park and he had the two boys with, or uh, yeah, the two boys with him. And he went, oh hell, let's just take the river down. He got on that river and drove her to Lehigh. Oh, Dar was so mad at him. <laughs> she went, don't you ever do that again. What was their house? Was that back there? Huh? Was their house back there? No, it's up here. Oh. In Lehigh. Oh, I thought that was Lehigh. No, I oh, wasn't. Uh, that little town there is Kalo and the other one was Colville. Uh, Burks. Uh, she said, what if that ice would have broken? You would have, oh my God, she was so mad at him. <laughs> Looks like it burnt down. Yeah, yeah, I think that, I don't know if it burnt, they tore it down. Where do I go up? Straight on. Straight? Oh yeah, yeah, up that way, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at this guy. There used to be a <laughs> restaurant here, but it closed up. So. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> Wave at you? No. no, but he, he gave a smirk. See the dragoon trail? Oh, dragoon trail. We have to look that up. There's Here, a post let me... Office. Oh, it's a big tractor chasing us. Uh -oh. Look behind us, look behind us. Senior Center here. Look behind us. That's the only thing allowed. I don't see it, Blake. You don't see that big cop? Oh. Cop what is it? Behind us. <laughs> chasing us, coming out. Well, it's not chasing us. I used to come out here and, and I'd drive up the hill and then come back. And one time I went real slow by the house. I went up and yeah. turned around and came back and there was a guy looking at me out the picture one. Oh, I want to do a nail. That <laughs> what, what's going on? That person driving by so slow, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that house must have burned. Oh, yeah. yeah. The river. Nice. Yeah, I, wish no. I, I wish I could remember where he took me that one time, but I don't know. This, um, when the river goes up, this is all underwater. Really? In fact, when you and Darnham used to have to take a gravel road and come to their house. So yeah, I was big into fishing, and uh, when I was a kid, you know, I was like in sixth grade, fifth grade, I don't know. And I remember uh, he took 
me, I, you know, I never catch anything because I'm a crappy fisherman. <laughs> so they level took me out and we caught like a six carp. That was the most fun fishing day I've ever had. I was catching stuff and all we were doing is throwing it out there and yeah, sitting on the chair. Carp is not a very good, that's not easy. No, we didn't eat it, we just threw it back, but uh, you know, it was fun. Finally, success. And all we did is put corn on the little hook. Lehigh used to be quite uh, popular because they had the Lehigh sewer pipe where they used to make sewer pipes. Uh, it was a booming town at one time. Long ago. Now, right around the corner oh, yeah, here is where Aunt Dar. Is the tire swing still there, I wonder? The Probably house not. is still there, yeah. No, I don't see the swing. Was it this side? Yeah, well, there's the string. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's it. Used to be a weepy willow tree there, but they they must have cut someone cut it down. Came back once because Blake forgot his coffee mug inside, and then we hadn't even reached the end of the driveway, and she called us back again because he forgot his jacket in there. So the third time's a charm. I think we're finally gonna be rolling out of here this this time. All right, can the Midwestern people watching this at least admit now that we're actually getting rained on? Does this actually count? as rain to you people because this is like a torrential downpour to us. It was actually worse about two minutes ago, but this is actual rain now, right? Good right? Old, good old Midwest, Midwestern downpour. Good old downpour. Yeah, we, we just left Blake's grandma's house and we're headed to Des Moines for some shopping on our way out of Iowa. Ames, right? No, there's nothing in Ames. Really? No. Oh. Um, like that story city. city. Yeah, we're going there first, but you know, general terms speaking, we're going to Des Moines. Look, it's like stop now. This is the weirdest place in the world. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Seriously, a hundred, a hundred yards behind us, it was pouring rain, and now it's like nothing. Anywho, we're on the road again. We're sad to leave Grandma, but thankfully she's flying out to California. She's actually going to beat us home, so we'll get to see her again once we get back home but it's always sad to leave it's sad to leave her house in Iowa and all the family but we had a really good visit right Blake nice. yeah so on the road again yeah. Blake's sad okay hello vlog say hi Blake So we just went to an antique store here in Story City, Iowa. It was so big. <laughs> we spent like tons of time in there. Hang on. That was that was a big one. Maybe maybe not though because you know the ones in orange are have downstairs. Yeah, that's true. Well, but this was the biggest one we've been to here. Oh yeah. Um, or on our trip so far, I'll say. So uh, it's two o'clock, Blake's starving. He was a grumpy bear inside of the antique store. I'm not a grumpy bear. Yeah, you are. I got so much good stuff at the antique store. I can't wait to show you that shopping video. You're gonna love it. That place was just like, it just kept going. It kept going and going. There's all these different rooms. And anyway, the ladies at the counter ringing us up said that if we're hungry, we should go to this Mexican restaurant right across the street. They said it was authentic. So, since we know what authentic is, because we live in Southern California, we'll see Iowa's we'll version see of authentic. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to get some lunch now. Big puddle. And it's still rainy. It was downpouring when we were in the uh, 
antique mall so I think we actually timed it right because now we're out and uh, it's not raining anymore hardly at all so Los Altos Mexican restaurant Enchiladas were not up to par. Yeah. A dry. Oh, a little dry. A little dry. They just seem kind of like half assed. Kind of. Half assed. Yeah, a little bit. All right. Well, I really liked the street tacos. But you know what? Whenever we go out, I always pick the right thing. I'm, yeah. I'm very I'm very good at ordering off of the menu. You know, I'm being too harsh. It was fine. You're being too harsh? Yeah, I'll be too harsh. Yeah. But I don't want to be a jerk. Though. <laughs> I oh, like my face is red. You sounded like what? I kind of sounded like a Kind of a jerky thing to yeah, say? Yeah, yeah, I regret it. Okay. I take it back. He takes it back. He takes these back seats. Anywho, we're back on the road again. We are headed towards Des Moines now. Des Moines. And um, we're buying a table because we're ridiculous. And there's not enough stuff in our car. <laughs> Where are we going to put it? I don't know. We're going to figure that out. That's why I said it has to go on its side. It's not a huge table. It's like a little it's side table. table. Um, but still. Man, my face is so red. So those tacos, like the salsa, the chips and salsa were good. You admit oh, that. The chips and salsa were very good. Hmm. The, the tacos that I got had this little cup of this like hot sauce yeah. and my face is I think that's why my face is so red it doesn't it, it's hard for me to think something is spicy because I probably my taste buds have been charred over the years or something and I don't taste very well so spicy stuff doesn't usually affect me but that that hot sauce that was spicy hot sauce that was so good and I like it too it had like a good flavor I like spicy stuff. So, A++ for the street tacos. I suggest El Pastor, because that's what I got, and it was really good. What was that place called? Los... Los Altos? Los Altos, or Los Patos? Los Altos. Los, Los something. <laughs> if you're ever in Story City, Iowa. It's a good place to go when you go yeah. shopping. I mean, and maybe they don't have a lot of Mexican places here. I wouldn't... I just wouldn't expect... A, very authentic Mexican food place in the middle of Iowa, but if you want some, there it is. It's quite good. All right, we're gonna go buy a table, and then I think we're going to one more antique store and one more record store. Or two record stores. Or two record stores. I'll be quick. Yeah, it's but... already almost three o'clock, so. But we only have to get to Topeka tonight, and. Um, that's about four hours away from Des Moines. So we'll be getting in a little bit late, I, I think. Could skip dinner. Like, I, I could know. definitely skip dinner. Oh my god, I couldn't even eat all that that I got. I had to give Blake one of my tacos. And they're filling, they're good. To get jumps in the in the You know you're in Iowa when it's pouring down rain and you're playing remote control cars in a gas station parking lot. Still rainy, but right over there, there. That's the Iowa State Capitol in Des Moines. I was just saying to Blake, I'm glad we saw this already because today would be a really crappy day to go have to see a Capitol. <laughs> but this one was interesting because it's got that big gold dome on the top of it. I remember when we saw this one, we were like, whoa, what the heck? Like that one looked way different than than the others. It's almost like it doesn't really fit the it doesn't. Area. It doesn't. It's like very different architecture for this area, but it was neat. Well, they're doing construction. You see the. Oh, they're renovating it. it. Yeah. 
they're doing some renovations. Renovations. But yeah, we saw that one last time we were in Iowa, nine years ago. Took a picture out in front of it. So we already saw that one. We don't need to check it off our bucket list. It's already checked. We're driving by this old cemetery here in Des Moines and I'm blown away right now because it looks super old. Ooh. 1848. That's when it started. There was like mausoleums in there and stuff. It looked really awesome. If we had more time, I would tell Blake to go drive through there. <laughs> we have reached the record store. What's this one called, Blake? ZZZ? ZZZ Records? Something like that. Blake's cousin knows the owner, I guess, and he suggested we come here. There's a lot of construction, as you can see. So we are going in. Records, right? Yeah. And now we're going to the Picker Nose. This is our last stop. What? No, one way? Yeah. Okay. This way. Remember, you couldn't turn down left down here. Oh, I see. What are these cars parked? Where are that car They're back ends, remember? Oh, that car's not back in. Well, they're supposed, they're supposed to be. Lake's panicking. Anyway, this is going to be our last stop. We're not used to one-way roads. We're really not. Well, I'm fine. I can do it. I just, when people do weird things and park weird ways, I think uh, then I start second guessing what my, like, you know, initial thought process is. Ooh, the cheese shop. That oh, sounds like a good place. All right, so this is gonna be our last stop here in Des Moines. We've just been running around all over the place here. <laughs> And uh, then we're gonna work our way over to Topeka, which should be about a three and a half, four hour drive. And it's five o'clock right now. So it's gonna be a little bit of a late night. I have not found a hotel for us to stay at yet, but I will. Again, Blake doesn't know if he's driving the right place. It's fine, we're fine. We're done in there. It was really good. It was a really nice place. We saw Lindsay Mad Girls Vintage, her um, case and bought some stuff out of it. It's seven o'clock now and we're still in Des Moines. We have to drive all the way to Topeka now. It won't be that bad. Which is about four hours away. Three hours and 39 minutes. Three hours and 39 minutes away. So we're gonna be getting in late. I need to uh, stop vlogging and find a hotel for us to stay in tonight. Yeah, we went a little overboard here shopping today. Yeah. It's pretty full. The car, she's a full. Yeah. <laughs> I think we're done. Just, I think we're done shopping. Take up much more. <laughs> I mean. Next stop would probably be the. Yeah, Iowa's been good to us though. Yeah, it was fun. Iowa has been really good to us. Oh, look at the clouds over here. Wait, let me turn you around. It's really low clouds. Those clouds are just hanging, hanging out right there. Really low, 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 low. All right, I'm gonna go now and find us a place to sleep. I'll, I'll be back later.
We finally made it to Topeka. TV was on when we came in. That's always fun and weird. We got two queens in this one. They didn't have a king available. Don't care. Very tired. It's uh, past 11. Let's see. Oh, my phone won't even tell me. I don't know. It's 11 something. Bathroom. We're staying at a Hyatt. It's nice, obviously. Super nice, super big, it's a suite. So, that's it. I'm going to bed now. Good night, we'll see you tomorrow.